Hey there, it's Matt Williams, evangelist here at Datadog. In this new video, I want to share with you a brand new feature just added to the Datadog platform. I am super excited to be the first one at this entire company to share it with you. It's called... Oh, wait, is that you? It's been ages since I last saw you. How long have we known each other? I think the first time we met was when you first started and I introduced you to the Datadog platform on the Learning Center. Or maybe it was one of those videos on the Datadog homepage before we had a video team. You know, I've been here a long time, so it's hard to remember. In fact, I have to admit, I'm having a hard time remembering your name. It'll come to me in a bit. Well, rather than spending any time on that new feature, I want to know how you've been. Uh, sorry, uh, there's, I, I can't seem to hear you. There must be something wrong with the speakers on my end. But while I have you here, let me tell you a little bit about what's going on with me. You know, I've been here at Datadog for about seven and a half years. That's a long time. When I started, we were a little 40 person startup on Fifth Avenue in New York City with one office by South Station in Boston. You know, right there where all the drug addicts hang out across the street. Good times back then. <laughs> One of the things I loved about working at a startup was that if you saw some part of the business that was missing, you know, something that we should take on, well, the best person to fill that gap was you. I was the first person to have public speaking as a core part of the job. Well, you know, apart from Alexi. But I sometimes think the real hiring manager was his wife who wanted him to spend less time traveling as they expected their first child. I was the first person to focus on building the Datadog blog. I was the first person to focus on writing the documentation. And I think there's still some parts of that Datadog docs that show my personality. I was the first person to build training at Datadog. And when you build those things at a startup, you don't need to run those teams forever, but rather prove the need and have folks far more qualified take over and run with it. And it's been amazing to see each of those teams grow by several orders of magnitude. Now Datadog is huge, and yet it hasn't become the slow sloth you'd expect of large companies. It's still super nimble, and we're always working on cool new things that blow our customers' minds. It's quite inspirational to see what the management team is able to achieve and what every single employee like you and your colleagues are able to deliver on. In fact, I have learned so much from you and everyone else here. I was so unqualified when I started, and today's Datadog would never hire that older version of me. But I do miss those days when we were small. So I have a bit of news to share with you. Come closer so I can make sure it stays just between us. I wanted to share it with you first before I let anyone else know. I'm actually leaving Datadog. Yeah, seven and a half years in, and it's time to help another startup. I'm joining this one super early and hope to have an even greater influence on where it goes. It has a lot of overlap with the space that Datadog's in. Wanna know where I'm going? Can you keep a secret? <laughs> what am I saying? We're friends, of course we can keep it between us. Okay, the place I'm going to is called well, that was weird. As soon as I mentioned the company's name, it felt like there was an electrical storm in my office. So bizarre. So let's try that again. I am leaving Datadog for a startup called... Whoa, that is so strange. It happened again. I'll figure out what's going on and update this in a few days with all the details. But until then, just know that this is going to be a lot of fun. But I hope this isn't the last time we see each other. I may not be a coworker going forward, but we can still be friends. If you ever find yourself in the Seattle area, I hope you'll reach out. I'll share my details in Slack, but you can always find me online. We moved into our dream home, thanks to the success of the IPO. And there's a guest room with your name on it. 
It, it opens out onto the hot tub. You get a great view of Mount Rainier and downtown Seattle. Just ping me and we can meet up. Now I'm going to try again at making a video where I share where I'm actually going to and what they do, but it may have to wait till Monday, which coincidentally is going to be my first day there. If you want to hear more, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Well, it really was amazing to see you again. And I really do hope that you'll reach out if you're in the area. Yeah, I know lots of people say, oh, reach out, we'll get be friends and all that. But I really do mean it. I really want you to reach out. I'd love to see you. I'd love you for you to come over. But even if you never make it here, I'm sure that we will run into each other again at all the shows that Data Dog sponsors, because we'll probably be there too. Talk to you soon and have a great day. Goodbye.